MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Stepping into the box, Mark Payton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Batting second, the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Batting third, the first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. At the plate, Joey Votto. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit as that'll score the run from third, and the Reds jump out in front here, one to nothing. Batting fourth, the third baseman, number seven, Eugenio. In now, Eugenio Suarez. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Even now, two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. The second for one to Santana to get the double play. Standing in, Mike Moustakis. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. One and one. Here it is. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Stepping up now, Cesar Hernandez. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. High pop-up. Suarez moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now to the plate, Francisco Lindor. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season. To two balls and two strikes now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And here's the 3 2 from him. Hit to third. Ramirez is up with it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
set to get his day started. Aristides Aquino, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. So digging in now, Freddie Galvis. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now the 2 1 pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hernandez ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Stepping in, Tucker Barnhart. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now the three and two pitch. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Mm, it's ball four. Mark Paper. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Fouled away. The 3-2 one more time. Swing and a liner, but foul. And he fouls this one off. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2-3, to three, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Jesse Winker, one for one after a single his first time up. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed, he got him. So one away here with the bases empty, and standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now at the plate, Domingo Santana. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And 
And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And that's the first down. Stepping into the box, Oscar Mercado. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 3 1. A ball hit hard to the left side. No one can make a play on this one, and the first Indians hit is going to be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. So now to the plate, Roberto Perez. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on Devado will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Striding in, Nicholas Castellanos. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Turned on down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Now batting. Number 44. Standing in now, Aristides Aquino. And there's ball two now. a good pitch there had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that you get a count your favorite he's swinging a pitch that bad not good hit the other way out toward right field right fielder giving chase he gets there and that's the second out so two are gone now for the Reds now in their half of the fourth and up next the Freddie. former Philly shortstop Galvez. Freddie Galvez Three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Outside and a full count, three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Hernandez on at first. Nobody out. And he'll be back in standing up. Fouled off. 
Another full count pitch home. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. The right fielder, number 32. To the plate now, Fran Moraes. And the count will be full. 3 2 pitch. They're on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Here's the pitch on two and two. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And the run is in to score from third. Now with the play, Carlos Santana. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. swing and a shot hit down the corner and that nearly broke our tie but instead it's a foul ball he set here's the 2 2 looked like he was cheating a heater right there a little bit too far out in front got to find a way to keep his hands back this is line to left and a base hit and that'll get the run in from third No chance there. He'll make it to third safely. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. One and two now as that one's fouled off. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help. Oh, diving stop by Votto. Great stab, but they extend their lead as the runner comes around to score. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up, a tag for one, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Coming to the plate now, Roberto Perez. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Three runs already home here. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in, Tucker Barnhart reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Going back is the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Mark Payton. One for two on his line so far in the game. The one-two. Two and two. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Still two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Pulled toward right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. And he's safe. 
Now back, designated hitter, Jesse Winker. At the plate, Jesse Winker. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. The 3-1. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the run will score from third to make this a 3-2 ball game. Now batter, the first base. Joey. Into the box now, Joey Votto. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And oh, almost had him, but he's able to make it back to first safely. Now batting. Two gone three. in the Cincinnati fifth. Eugenio. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Two two pitches fouled away. Two runs, six hits. One error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Ramirez. He was a ground out victim last time up. I mean what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016 just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. The batter, seven. Digging in once again Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. In now, Francisco Lindor. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. Popped him up. Votto is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Tyler Naquin will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And he misses again, ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Here's the two one. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. 
Number 44 is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Hunter Wood takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 44, Hunter. Ready now, Mike Moustakis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now back, left field, with Tocqueville. Into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. A little bit outside, two and one. In the dirt here, no advance here, but it's three and one now. Drilled down the line, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in Aristides Aquino. He flew out in his last at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The cooktop. The 2 1 pitch to 2 and 2 now. Two runs, seven hits, one error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. And it's fouled away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Into the box, Domingo Santana. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. The 1 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. In now, Oscar Mercado. A now hit in two at bats the for him at this point in the ballgame. Oscar! A 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. On the ground to the right side. And that's the second out. Now in the box, Roberto Perez. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Now batted. Third baseman. Okay. So now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's no ball four. Seven. In now for Cleveland, Cesar Hernandez. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. On to first, and the driver held in check as the inning is over. Adam Simber is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 90. Ready now for Cincinnati. Tucker Barnhart. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. 
only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's an inning opening single to kick off their half of the seventh. The center fielder, number 34, Mark. At the plate now, Mark Payton. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Slow roller left side. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. Flips the corner of the zone with the sinker for a strike. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. comes in quickly now so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here still with only now one away Dominic Leone is called upon to pitch really needing that double play ball bases are loaded here with only one man out to the plate now Eugenio Suarez and this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now the set and the one one no, that's the ball. 2-1. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. The 2-2. Two -two. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. And another foul ball. He set the 2 2. After multiple pitches will foul off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Fouled away. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. High and deep to straightaway right. Gone! It's a grand slam! Standing in now, Nicholas Castellanos. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. For the traditional And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, do it, do it. defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. There to take it is Votto, and there's now one that, gone. The right field. From me. And he fouls this one off. Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw gets him, two down. So here's Tyler Naquin. It was a walk in his last trip. Fouled off. Yeah. 
And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Oliver Perez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 39, Oliver At the plate, Aristides Aquino. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and one. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble. Three and one. Three and one. Full Swing and a miss, and the count goes full. Three and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Now the three and two pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The next three two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. The batter, number three. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Now the one and one pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however, to second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Now Digging in and looking for more, Tucker Barnhart. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Michael Lorenzen is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 21. Michael. Carlos Santana will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So striding in, Domingo Santana. who could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And it's gone. Into the box, Oscar Mercado. Swings through it for strike number two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Again, a one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so... He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. 
Uh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally the set down here Robert after 55. an eight pitch at bat. Roberto. In the air out toward right field. Number 44 will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Set to start the ninth in this one. Standing in, Mark Payton. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Naquin is right there, one down. Ready now once back. again, That's Jesse Winker. A couple of singles yes, for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Here, Fouled away. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The 1 1 home. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Pedro Stroke is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. It was a walk in his last trip. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ramirez swings and this one's hit well to left. Racing back the left fielder. Gone! In now, Cesar Hernandez. Cut fastball and there's strike two. Now a ball lined to the left side. Oh, but he robs him on a super diving catch. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. The 2 2. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. At the plate now, Fran Moraes. Ball and two strikes. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Digging in, Tyler Naquin. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. The 1 1 home. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Last strike now for Cleveland. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. 
Matt Bowman takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Delino De Shields will come on now and pinch run here. Pinch running at first for the Indians. Number zero. Delino. Stepping in now, Carlos Santana. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. And the Tribe were led offensively this afternoon by this guy, Carlos Santana. Thanks largely to one heroic swing, he's our tops player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game. And that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. This one comes to a close today at an 8-6 final. The Tribe put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. Oliver Perez earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make the your way over to theshownation.com. For the victorious Cleveland Indians, Abron is on 11 hits. No error. They left eight men on base. For the Reds, six runs, 11 hits. One error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.